magandang umaga sa bawat isa sa inyo at uh, purihin ng Panginoon na uh, may mga bago tayong uh, kasama na uh, for some time na miss na, namin kayo but I am sure uh, next time around ay makita natin sa uh, mga kapatiran ang kasabikan uh, sa personal na pagsasamba sa Panginoon in a live way. Okay? Uh, that is of course when you are just in Metro Manila. But if you are in the province or you are out of this country, uh, it's understandable online. Okay? But just the same, it's good to have you this morning. And uh, thank God for the message that the choir sung. And uh, may the Lord uh, be pleased that what we do uh, will be most acceptable before Him and His blessed Trinity. Uh, I announced last uh, Wednesday that I will continue what I have uh, left off uh, na hindi ko natapos uh, sa isa sa mga mahirap na uh, uh, talinhaga o parable na ibinigay ng Panginoon. We are going into the a hard and difficult sayings of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, of course, as we study this and uh, uh, dig uh, uh, the scriptures, I, we will the more uh, appreciate it uh, when we best understand it. Okay, so have a pleasant day uh, uh, throughout this Lord's Day. And uh, meanwhile, let's thank the Lord that in spite of what may be uh, happening around the world and uh, caused by this pandemic, na tayo ay narito pa rin at pinaintulutan na makapagtipon after uh, uh, more than almost a year. But it's uh, such a privilege, it's a test of faith na ngayon ay tayo ay uh, nasa uh, uh, pagsubok uh, ng ating uh, pananampalataya how close we are uh, to the Lord so uh, without any further ado I would like us to open our Bibles to the uh, Gospel of Luke chapter 5 I will finish what I have uh, 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 what I left up last Wednesday tila mas maganda itong talakayin yung mga mahirap na salita ng Panginoon so I may reverse this, maaring ipagpatuloy ko yung prophetical study uh, on Wednesday. At ito, ay, uh, ito talaga mga difficult sayings ng ating Panginoon ay provocative. Talagang mapoprovoka na uh, mag-aral at uh, saliksikin o bungkalit ang salita ng Diyos at makita ang katotohanan nito sa uh, buhay nating mga uh, anak na Diyos. May love letter. Uh, sandali lang. Ah. Okay. Meron na ba? Oh, yun. Meron na. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate uh, those uh, operating uh, the ra in the uh, uh, radio room para may record at may paabot uh, simultaneously ang ating online service and on-site service sa iba yung magdako ng uh, sanglibutan. And uh, may mga gusto English, uh, mga tiga abroad, but uh, marami rin na tiga rito, I suppose, ay gusto taglis kaya hindi ka malaman kung saan ako pupunta. Taglis na lang. Okay. <laughs> So, pero uh, sa akin preferable ang English eh. Kasi uh, I'm not Tagalog, uh, pero uh, nagsisikap ako. Okay, so Luke chapter 6 verse 36 to verse 39. Kung babalikan natin uh, sa verse 34, ay ito ay sumusunod sa isang napagdaanan uh, at napag-aralan na nating uh, katuruan ng Panginoon na may koneksyon uh, sa kasalan sa kasal ng anak ng hari. At uh, ngayon, sapagkat sa kasalan ay bahagi nito ay uh, sa celebration at uh, pinapahalagahan. This is a common uh, 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 
leverage uh, sa mga mamamayang mga hudyo, especially during winter time, na uh, uh, they use uh, real wine. Okay? Sa kanilang table at saka sa Lord's Supper at sa iba pang okasyon tulad ng kasalan. One day I will give a message on the custom of the Jews when it comes to marriage at pagkatapos ang kaangkop na katuruan nito sa bagong tipan ng ibinigay ng Panginoon and we will uh, the more appreciate the Lord and what uh, He has greatly done for you and for me. Dito at uh, talagang sabi ko, ito wonderful. Uh, I am all struck at uh, uh, the messages that the Lord uh, conveys to us both in the Old as well as in the New Testament. So ang ating mensahe ngayon ay yung mga uh, uh, nag-aakala na noon at saka ngayon, the old is better. So verse 36 to verse 39. And he spake also a parable unto them, No man putteth a piece of a new garment upon an old, if otherwise then both the new maketh a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agreed not with the old. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. Verse 39, No man also having drunk old wine straightway uh, desireth new, for he saith, The old is better. Lord bless your word. Help us to understand what you would have us to know and learn and apply from uh, this portion of scripture considered as one of your difficult uh, sayings and yet uh, better understood in the light of how you interpreted it and would have us to discover for our own special and personal benefits. Thank you, Lord, for great things you have done. And we pray that you would speak to each of our hearts. We pray for our brethren around the world and uh, also for the uh, uh, fundamental uh, Baptist churches in the United States and in particular in the states where the Democrats are trying uh, to destroy uh, the uh, fundamentals, uh, the Constitution, and uh, uh, they are uh, uh, trying to implement uh, systems which are contrary to what the forefathers and the uh, founders and the writers of the American Constitution have put into print. And I do pray for our brethren in Australia, in particular in Sydney, that uh, uh, the uh, uh, new variant of uh, uh, COVID, uh, uh, which is most alarming, that is happening in Sydney, I do pray that you would keep our brethren uh, safe there, especially Brother Danny and Sister Annie and their families. And thank you that uh, they have a part in uh, the ministry here. And we are a blessing to them as they are to us. And I pray for our sick members who are with us during this uh, uh, service as well as those that may be abroad or on board the ship. And we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory all because of Jesus and for his sake uh, to him be praised, honor, and glory both now and forever. Amen. The Lord willing, uh, we may have uh, next Lord's Day night the first and perhaps the last Lord's Supper for 2021 because uh, considering what is happening, the uncertainties around the world, the rapture may take place. Uh, most uh, students ng mga uh, Jewish uh, 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 believers ay sila ay nagsasabi na 2022 raw ang pasimula ng seven years tribulation period at magbabakas sa 2029. I do not know. Okay, but Everything is just uncertain. And so, kung totoo man yun, any moment we must expect the rapture to happen. 
It's sudden, it's a surprise, and it's swift. Okay? It's swifter than the blink. Kiss up mata. The blink of your eye. But the question is, are you ready? Amen. May lang. May lang pa. But anyway, let's uh, cultivate that uh, attitude perhaps today. Okay? So, uh, so much so that we uh, uh, would avoid uh, 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 blushing before him uh, at his coming. Okay? This morning's message is a continuation and uh, uh, the, I hope, uh, 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 the finish of our study on uh, the subject, the old is better. How many of you were with us, the Narito, that you were uh, with us during uh, our midweek prayer meeting na narinig itong introductory uh, presentation na ginawa ako ng Wednesday, Wednesday ng Miyerkules. Taas ang kamay. Okay. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat sa bawat isa nang sinabi ko, the old is better. I asked several questions. Sin nagsalita nito? Who quoted it? Kanino ito uh, uh, sinalita ng Panginoon? At totoo ba ito o hindi? Mara, may mga nag-participate at pagdating doon sa old which is better, which is uh, 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 precious and uh, is getting uh, more uh, expensive, ay may, may mga nag-participate na iba-ibang mga items na totoo na mas luma ay mas mahalaga. Okay, thank you so very much. Ang iba doon ay sabi nila ay coins, okay? Uh, Banggit ko, stamps, uh, at uh, mga uh, artifacts, yung mga jars, etc. Yung mga uh, new dis- uh, na, na discovering mga uh, lumang kagabita- uh, kagamitan, etc. At uh, lalo na, yung mga, may mga nagpadala na photographs Di ba yung mga unang mga uh, uh, photographs na it takes longer than a minute uh, to develop it? Okay, so uh, may the Lord uh, bless you for participating and sharing uh, what you deem ay ito ay old and yet uh, ito ay uh, mahalaga, uh, uh, it's precious or uh, expensive or costly. Okay, now... We will go into the three uh, thoughts or schools of thoughts that the Lord would have us to discover from this. Sige na ng akin, pakinang tanggal ko, pinag-aral ito, ito lang pala. Ang nais na huwi paabot dito. At uh, mga nag, uh, iba-iba mga nagtuturo nito ay uh, nag-tatalatan. Uh, Pero it's as simple as what we will discover here this morning. Okay? Three truths. First of all, notice with me please, ang simula dito ng Panginoon, parable ito, okay, uh, is a uh, 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 comparison or a resemblance sa sinabi niya dito. No man putteth a new, uh, 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 no man putteth a, a piece of a new garment upon old if otherwise, then both new make it a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agreeeth not. Yung una, disagree, pakakalawa, agreeeth not. The first thing that we must consider here is the container. Ano bang container na sinasabi ng Panginoon two words na describe niya dito? Una, na it's a garment. Okay? Yung lalagyan ay garment raw. Pangalawa, binanggit niya dito sa talata ang salitang battle, botelya, uh, but, uh, bote, botelya. Okay, tama ba yun sa uh, uh, bigang Pilipino, uh, bote? But ating mapapansin dito na ito ay ang battle o uh, garment na tinutukoy ng Panginoon in some other parts sa uh, tatlong manunulat ng uh, synoptic gospels ay ito ay wine skins. Tingnan nyo sa iba sa uh, reference na ibinigay sa so Matthew at saka sa Mark. Ang wine skin ay tulad dito. 
Nakikita ba ninyo? Tulad yan. Okay. Ang wine skin na ginagamit dito ay ang katapat nito in modern times ay uh, kung kayo ay nagbabaon ng sariling tubig is either in a bottle a bottle is summit or whatever o kaya ito ay nasa isang uh, metal container may uh, whatever na ito ay uh, uh, nagdudulot sa inyo ng refreshment tuwing nang kayo ay nauhaw. Pag ang isang sundalo ay pumupunta sa init ng labanan, ay sila ay may baong maliban sa pagkain in uh, ito ay uh, uh, just pack uh, uh, foods ay meron silang container ng tubig ng tawag dito ay ano? Canteen. Di ba? Pag sinabi natin canteen, ngayon pupunta kayo doon. Pero yung daladala nila, metal rin yun, tubig ang nakalam, uh, nakalagay. Canteen. But in those times, sa panahon ng Panginoon, in uh, this uh, place sa Middle East, where uh, the context and the background took place, ay itong anit, itong uh, wine skin, itong bag na ito, nayari ito galing sa balat ng, uh, commonly, balat ng uh, uh, goats, ng mga, anong goats sa Tagalog? Kambing. Kaya nga inahirapan talaga ako sa kambing. O kung hindi man, galing sa balat ng baka o balat ng kabayo, o balat ng hayop, na pagkatapos na nilinis nila ito, tinatahi nila ito, at ito ay nagiging container ng tatlong liquid form na daladala nila o bao nila. Una, is a container for water. Pangalawa, is a container for milk. And uh, third, is or four times, a container Uh, for a wine okay and fourth is a container for oil because these are essentials in this place na sila ay lalakbay o sila ay magbubungkal ng lupa because it's an agricultural uh, agricultural place nagbubungkal sila and under the hot sun when it's time uh, to uh, really uh, stop and eat and drink ay is, not, is uh, available sa kanila. So, yan ang tinutukoy ng Panginoon na bottles or garments or uh, wine skin. Tawag nila wine skin. However, ating mapapansin sapagkat ito ay everything is uh, dito naman ay uh, walang... Uh, sinasabing matibay na tatagal for a lifetime, ay kahit ang balat, ay ito ay lumulutong. Kahit ang balat, pag tumatanda ito, ay nabubutas ito. So, ating mapapansin dito, na ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon, ang contrast dito, between the old and uh, the new container. Na yung old container, yung old na, wine skin na ito ay ito ay sa pagtanda nito ay na, maaari nagkaroon ng butas at pagkatapos natural ito na ito ay maglilik o tutulo ito doon and the longer ang paglik nito ay uh, uh, mauubos at kung malaki ang butas ay uh, mas lalo na kaya sabi ng Panginoon kung ang iyong uh, wine skin, itong uh, lalagyan ito ng liquid, ay may butas ito, matanda na ito ay mabutas ito, at marupok na ito, at kumuha kayo ng panibagong uh, uh, anit o kaya ng leather para tapalan ito, it will do more harm than good. Bakit? Kasi hindi much. Maafektuhan yung wine, uh, wine skin nabibigay ito o kaya hindi obra yung uh, 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 new leather na itatapal dito. Anong ibig sabihin ng Panginoon dito? Nasabi ko na last time na ang salitang uh, uh, old dito 
ay mapapasin natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Ang old sa salita ay sa Greek ay orka, orkaiks. Archaeos, excuse me, archaeos. Where do we get the English word archaic? Na old na talaga. Tulad na yan, yung mga uh, uh, vases na old na ito, o metal works na ito, yung matandang matanda na, etc. But ang kaibahan nito ay pag matanda na ito, ay ito ay may kainaan na. Ito ay marupok na. At hindi na pwedeng lagyan ng panibagong pangalawa ang contents alak. So, uh, five times ginamit ang old. Archaic. Okay? Archaeo sa Greek. Old na talaga. Uh, uh, very long use ang uh, uh, gamit nito. And then, uh, ang new dito ay mapapansin natin ay Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Ang salitang uh, new dito ay kainos. Ang ibig sabihin ng kainos, K-A-I-N-O-S, ay never been used. Hindi pa kailanman nagagamit. At ibig sabihin nito, bagong uh, 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 kalikas o kalikasan ito. So, may nagkakaroon na tayo ng idea. So, sabi ng Panginoon, impossible sa isang matandang container, lalo na kung ang ilalagay mo dito ay ang grape juice. Sapagkat wine ang issue dito. Yung contents, the second truth that ating makikita dito, pag nilagyan mo ito ng contents na kung saan ay ang, uh, ang uh, in, inaning mga ubas, ay pakatapos na pinapadaan sa isang wine press o meal uh, na ito'y dalawang bato na nag-umpugan ay ito'y pinipisa at uh, lumalabas ang katas ng ubas at pagkatapos na ito'y nasahod uh, ay ilalagay nila ito dito uh, sa uh, uh, garment o sa wine press na ito. Uh, at yung uh, grape juice is unfermented. Grape juice yun eh. However, kung luma yon at ito ay may defecto na, imposible na nga. Luma na nga at may defecto, lalo na may butas na, na uh, niremedyohan mo, tinagpian mo ng panibagong uh, panibagong uh, anit o ano mang tela o whatever. Pag nilagyan mo ito ng grape juice, pag Tagal ng grape juice in this container because of the process of change or transformation na ito tinatawag fermentation ay yung anit, uh, yung anit uh, dapat mag-agree sa pagbabago ng alak na ito ay mag-adjust yung flexibility or elasticity ng anit hindi na tatagal yon lalong lalaki yung butas. Pag-change ng uh, nasa loob, it will affect okay, the old garment or the old wine skin. So, naintindihan ba ninyo na nagbabago? Ito kasi, bigyan ko yun ng pagbabago. Uh, pag uh, umiinom tayo ng Welsh grape juice, ang Welsh grape juice ay ginawa ito ng Methodist Uh, na, I forgot the name na si Welch at sapagkat na-offend Tito Taller o kaya uh, umiiwas sa alak yung kanilang uh, denomination at other denominations na sama na ang Baptist ay uh, na ang alak niya ay masama uh, nakalalasing ay he uh, uh, produce itong Welch Grape Juice na ito ay uh, itinatabi na uh, kahit tumagal habang hindi nabubuksan ay fresh yan. Naging uh, un unfermented. Fresh yan. However, the moment na binuksan ninyo ito, uh, either kumuha kayo ng bahagi na inumin o basta nabuksan ninyo ito, 
ay immediately the process of fermentation will take place at yung dregs na dala ng, uh, uh, ng grape juice ay uh, it sinks below uh, the bottle at pagkatapos ay the longer it becomes ay nagiging real wine yung uh, Welsh grape juice. Proven ito many times na na ako nung umiinom nito, yung natitira ay yung dregs ay na, eh, nasa bottom. Alak na alak na talaga. Sino sa inyo nakainom na ng ganon? Matanda ng uh, grape juice. Welsh grape juice. Pure yun. Because of the process of change ng fermentation ay nagiging real wine yun. So ating mapapansin, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the old uh, garment or uh, wine skin na matanda na talaga, it cannot agree with the new wine sapagkat in the process of time ay pag ito ay nag-change sa sabog itong container na ito. Hindi na kasi maka-expand ito eh. So, yan ang uh, uh, old uh, uh, garment or old wine skin. Sabi na pa yun, you cannot put new wine in old uh, wine skin. Okay, ang container ay wine. Uh, the reason why I believe that uh, it's not the use of wine na, uh, na kinukondem sa Bible. It's not the use of wine. It's the abuse of wine. Yung maling gamit sa alak sa kanila, very common yan, pero hindi naman, it does not necessarily mean that they are drunkards. It's part of uh, their drinks sa kanilang domestic homes. At ganun rin sa Lord's Supper. At dahil in abuse ito, may mga nalasing at kinondem ni Apostle Paul yung paglalasing, hindi yung alak. So, tulad rin ni Noah, in abuse niya ito, tinanim niya, in abuse niya, at nalasing siya, it caused one of his hands to fall into sin. Di ba? At nasumpa niya ito. So, ating mapapansin that yung sinabi ng Panginoon na ginamit niya ang wine is at doon sa feast, uh, wedding feast sa Cana, the first miracle, he changed or turned the water, the jars of water, into wine. And everybody appreciated it because this new wine that the Lord Jesus Christ uh, provided when the feast is supposed to end sadly, I, the more joyful the occasion was because Jesus was in their midst and he could uh, 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 turn the water into wine. So, naalala ko tuloy ang tungkol sa alak. Iba yung uh, uh, manginginom at saka manlalasasing. You can drink without being a drunkard. But it's preferable kung hindi nyo may wasan ang uminom ng real wine. Once a year lang o kung kailan lang may Lord's Supper. Anyway, di naman kayo malalasing ng isang maliit na camp. <laughs> di ba? Yun ang symbolism. And I'll give you that uh, uh, message in a few while. So, dito ay kapansin-pansin ito na hindi kinundi na ng Panginoon ang wine sa kanya na accuse siya. Oh, he, he is uh, the friend of sinners. Siya ay isang uh, wine beaver. Siya ay kasama ng mga umiinom ng alak. That was something na binabran sa Panginoon because the Lord did not condemn the use of it but the abuse of it. So, Naalala ko isang araw ay may irong, uh, isang uh, Christian family uh, sa Amerika nangyari ito. Doon sa Christian family ito, yung kanilang anak above 20 years old na na uh, hindi pa uh, humihiwalay sa kanila at hindi nila alam kung ano ang kursong kukunin nito. So, na nalangin yung mag-asawa, sabi niya, uh, gawad natin ng test ang ating anak na para malaman at matulungan natin siya sa kanyang decision sa pagpipili ng kanyang career o ng kanyang kurso. Okay, so walang kaalam-alam uh, yung binatang anak na pag-uwi, galing sa labas, doon sa kanilang 
uh, pintuan ang ginawa ng tatay na inihanda nila para ma-determine kung ano ang choice at career na papasukin ng anak ay nilagyan nila ng tatlong items. Ang unang item ay nilagyan nila sa uh, support sa may pintuan ng 100 dollars. Sabi ng mag-asawa, sabi ng uh, tatay, pag uh, pinulot niya itong 100 dollars We are uh, helping him and ang decision niya ay he is going to be a businessman. Okay, sabi nila. Sa gitna, pangalawa, inilagay nila ay Bible. Pag ang Bible, ang pinulot niya, that means, ang career o choice na gagawin and papasukin niya ay he is going to be a preacher or pastor. Okay. At doon ang pangatlo, ay bote ng alak, whiskey. Sabi niya, pag ito ang dinampot ng ating anak, ay lasenggo siya. So, nung dumating ang anak, nagulat siya. May $100, mayroong Bible, at mayroong bote ng alak. Dinampot niya yung $100, chinek niya kong genuine, at pagkatapos, binulsa niya. Yung sumisilip na mag-asawa, magulang niya, tuwa-tuwa, magiging businessman ng ating anak. Pero hindi ito bigil doon. Pinulot niya yung Bible. At pagkatapos tinitingnan niya, patapos, uh, ano tawag dito sa Tagalog? Sino, ha? Okay, nilagay niya. So, uh, pakatlo, nakita niya may bote pa yung matitira. Dinampot niya yung alak, binuksan niya, psh, lumabas yung espiritu. May espiritu ang alak eh. Psh, lumabas yung espiritu. Inamoy niya, at pagkatapos, hisip, sa tinikman niya, sarap pala, sinarado niya. Dala niya yung tatlo, umakyat na siya sa kanyang kwarto. Yung mag-asawa na lito. Ako! Sabi ng tatay, hindi ko inaasahan ang ating anak pala. Hindi ko sukat maisip. Hindi pala siya magiging businessman. Hindi pala siya magiging preacher. Hindi pala siya magiging lasenggo. Sabi niya, hindi ko sukat akalain. Siya pala ay isang magiging politisyan. <laughs> Di ba lahat na gito na sa politisyan? <laughs> Social. <laughs> so, kaya, okay. Uh, it's not good for a Christian to be a politician. <laughs> yung tatlo niya. Uh, they will not agree. Sa gulat na gulat yung tata. Hindi raw businessman, hindi raw preacher, uh, hindi raw drunkard, kundi politician. So, ating mapapansin dito, yung why ni ilagay dito, ay ating mapapansin, ang content is new wine. New wine. New na, bag, uh, bago na, Anak pa. In other words, it's in the state of uh, grape juice. Simula. New. Kasi pag inilagay sa container ito at uh, uh, sinil o uh, isanarado ay in the process ng panahon, pag binuksan ito, that is how uh, they uh, make uh, wine. Ngayon ay the, uh, grape juice are turned into Uh, uh, it's uh, put into an oak barrel mula sa process nila na kung saan from liquid uh, turn, uh, the grape juice is turned into uh, wine tapos nilalagay pa nila sa oak barrel and five years later it commands more higher price pa kaysa ordinary wine pag mas matanda ito uh, ang isa sa mga costly wines I forgot the name is 25,000 US dollars ang cost. Old wine yun. So, dito, yung wine. Ano ba ang kahalaga nito? New na at wine pa. Well, we have to look at the Bible. Wine in the Bible speaks of two things. They symbolize two things. The first thing that it symbolizes or symbolizes I, it speaks to us of joy. Di ba? Pag uh, may inuman, everybody is a bright boy. 
Ah, di ba? Iingayan. Masaya sila. Di ba? Although the consequences may be tragedy. Okay? So, ating mapapansin sa kasalang uh, di not, not, uh, pinuntahan ng Panginoon, it added to the joyous occasion. Okay? So, joy. Because yung wine na ang tinutukoy nito ay uh, joyfulness, ang wine ay isa sa mga larawan ng Espiritu Santo at ng salita ng Diyos. The Spirit of God and uh, the Scriptures. In the book of Isaiah chapter 55, tingnan natin please, if you would bother to open this, Ho oh, everyone! Nang sabi dito sa chapter 50, uh, 55 verse 1, Ho oh, everyone that thirsteth, come to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat, yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. You see, here we find the invitation of grace to his people and to us that this new wine that the Lord provides is actually far more precious and better than the old. Okay? So, yan ang ating mapapansin. Pag, di ba, pag oras na ng inuman, happy-happy hour ang tawag. Happy-happy hour. <laughs> but it's false happiness. Short-lived happiness and it will end. The second truth na ang wine uh, conveys to us the symbol is one of two things lang is judgment. It speaks to us of judgment. In the book of Revelation, sa bago, uh, bago masimulan ang millennial kingdom ng Panginoon, when Jesus comes sa glorious appearance niya, ay He will implement itong tinatawag the wine press of God's judgment. Sa Revelation chapter 14 verse 19, Revelation chapter 19 verse 15, that the Lord Jesus Christ will put our world then sa uh, tribulation period, in particular sa dulo na ng tribulation period, ay He will usher His judgment na ito'y tinatawag na, uh, the uh, judgment of the wine press of the wrath of God. Nakita ba niya yung uh, statement yan? The wine press of the wrath of God. Di ba mga mga nag-inom simula, usually ang report ay mga construction workers ito. Simula, magkakaibigan, makasama sila, masaya sila. Mamaya-maya, may nag- uh, nagsalita uh, ng tungkol sa biro, nagkainitan hanggang saksakan at patayan. Diba? It ends in judgment. That is how wine does in this world. Temporary happiness and tragedy. But not so with the Lord's new wine. Ano ba new wine na tinutukoy niyang ito? Ay natural yung content na ito, content na ito sa wine skin ay ang sabi ng banal na kasulatan is actually the Spirit and the Scriptures, the Word of God. Third, okay? Sabi ng Panginoon dito, una, it does not agree. The old and the new does not agree. Second, sa verse 37, no man put a new wine into old uh, garments because sasabog talaga yung lumang uh, uh, wine skin. And then third, but new wine must be put into, into new bottles and both are preserved. Yung new wine raw ay ilalagay sa new wine skin. Para match na match ito. The more aged the contents uh, become, whether any of the four na nabanggit ko, lalo na ang wine, ay ito ay it does not burst. Hindi nasisira ito. Okay, so ating mapapansin, the third thing is the conservation. Yung conservation na produce ng new wine sa new uh, uh, wine skin ay it is preserved. Napipreserve. Hindi ito sasabog. Sa pag-change ng grape, uh, grape juice sa uh, fermentation ay it does, 
it elasticizes the new uh, leather garment and then pagkatapos ay napipreserve yung alak na nasa loob. Okay? So, for that matter, speaking of conservation or preservation, ano ang tinutukoy ng Panginoon dito? In the epistle, the Apostle Paul's Ephesians, he speaks of the old man na Adamic nature, the first time na tayo ipinanganak sa mundong ibabaw, that old man that we inherited from Adam, na ito ay corruptible. Okay? Na ito ay makasalanan. So, ang ginawa ng Panginoon ay He, in our lives, ay He bless us with a new man. Tingnan natin please. Paano ito nangyari? It's through the process of regeneration. Sabi sa atin sa banal na kasulatan, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is an old creature. Tama ba yun? No. He is a new creature or creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Why are all things become new? Because He is a new creature. He is now a child of God. Nakita ba ninyo ang newness? Yung old man natin is disqualified from entering into heaven. That's why we need the new birth. We need the new birth. Ang sabi ni Apostle Paul yun ay, he made a contrast between the old man, the inward man, the, uh, the old man, the outward man, and the new man, the inward man. Okay, so, itong new man, yung new nature, uh, at new crea creation ng Panginoon sa masterpiece niya sa mga anak ng Diyos na binago ng Panginoon, ay sila'y binayayan ng pag-asa ng Panginoon, ng pag-asang ibinibigay sa kanila ng Panginoon, where I am, there you may be also, you will be with the Lord and have a new place and a new home in glory. You will be with the Lord when He comes again in that city whose builder and maker is God, the new Jerusalem. Ang daming nga. And the Lord says that with uh, this newness sa buhay natin, we love to sing and crave for this new songs. Na ito'y inaawit natin at sa kabila ay pawang new songs. Lahat ito'y sa Revelation. Sa Revelation chapter 5 uh, verse 9. And then sabi ng Panginoon in that New Jerusalem where we are going to reside with the Lord. He is going to give us a new name in glory. Nasa kanta natin yan. A new name in glory. That is, we will have a glorified na hindi natin, ngayon pinag-iingatan natin ang pangalan natin tulad sabi ni, uh, ni Manny Pacquiao, iniingatan ko ang aking pangalan, etc. Pero sa uh, kabila niyan, maraming batik. Pagdating sa kabila, wow! We are going to be totally brand new. Alin mahalaga? Yung old or yung new? So, pinapawalang bisa by comparison ng Panginoon yung old ritual, yung old religion, your old beliefs, your old practices ninyo ay walang saysay ito pagdating sa Panginoong Kristo at kalob niyang Espiritu at ang kanyang salita na magdudulot sa inyo ng kabaguhan ng lahat ng bagay. We look forward. Na, sabi ng Banala Kasulatan, uh, we are, our souls are saved right there and then when Jesus Christ uh, came into our lives through the Spirit. But then, we will have a new incorruptible body. Mauna yung soul bago yung newness ng body. Wow! Perfect! Sa panahon yun, Brother John, may pag-asa tayo. Yung mga 
na wala na hindi ito tupi ang gagamitin o wigs. Real. Tinitingnan ko oh, yung old picture ko. May app na appreciate kasi maraming puno pa ng buhok. Nagdadagdag pala yun ng, uh, ng uh, itsura sa mukha yung may uh, uh, kompleto buo pang buhok mo. Kaysa wala na. Pero one thing sa kabila ay bago na yung lahat. <laughs> Brangela, <laughs> wala nang depekto tayo. We are going to be like him, for we shall uh, be like him when we meet him face to face. Uh, old age, thank God, sa old age. Diba? Pero some are regretting old age. Why? Sabi niya, old age, partly uh, good and partly bad. Pag old age na, thank God. My false teeth still fits. Yung pastis yung nagtifit pa. Yeah. Kaysa wala ka na talaga pastis, magigimiti ka, kakaiba, tatawanan ka agad ng tao, pero pag may pastis ka, maganda pa rin ang appearance. Thank God for our old false teeth. Thank God for our hearing aid, the time that we now ay nagiging uh, deaf tayo ay kailangan na ngayon hearing aid. Because as you grow older, you lose it. Thank God for our glasses. The more uh, you grow older, the more nag, uh, uh, change ang grade ng inyong mata. Pero dito ay it's hard to thank God for this. That when we grow old, we will still lose something. And it's hard to say. I sure miss my memory, my mind. Pag old age na, ano nga yan? Diba? Hindi na kasing sharp. Kaya habang tumatanda, you train your memory and resort Itong, ito tip ko ito sa inyo ha. I do not want uh, uh, to lose my memory and my mind and faster na ito ay maging makalimutin ako and then later become uh, mahulog sa dementia or forgetful or forgetfulness. So I resort to jam, jumbo. I resort to puzzles. I uh, resort sa mga Uh, word games na yan na you have to find uh, the word. Di ba? Kahit sa mga self, yun ang kina, uh, uh, gigiliwan ko ngayon. Eh. Yung uh, uh, arrange the word, find the word. Yung crossword, it helps so much. May mga games that will help you na ma-retain mo ang sharp memory than lose it faster. Okay? One good thing sa mga Uh, jigsaw puzzle or crossword puzzle and whatever. Okay? So, educate your memory. <laughs> Continue. Okay? To train it. Na manatili tayong uh, mga uh, sharp. Okay? So, dito ay ating mapapansin ng sinasabi ng Panginoon yung mga they are holding on to their old religion na pinapahalagahan nila, ritual and practices or whatever na nasa naman, ay ito ay is of no uh, value in comparison with the new things na kaloob ng Panginoon sa atin. Alin ba gusto ninyo? Yung lumang tinapay na may aamag na o kaya yung bagong freshly baked Bread. O siyempre, mas malaga yung bread. I like to eat hot and fresh foods. Kikaysa yung matandaan na at inaawag na. <laughs> uh, diba? So, uh, there are things that uh, uh, the more it is new, the more it is better. Okay? Lalo na dito, walang makakahigit sa newness na ibinigay ng Panginoon. And I would like to close this message With Matthew chapter 26, sa mga nakakaranas na ng new birth, 
may new nature na, may kasiguruhan na of a new home in glory. May new song na at uh, meron na silang new name na written down in glory because they are God's elect. Ay, ito ang assurance ng Panginoon before He left earth, before He died and He left earth. Sabi din ng Panginoon dito, kaya huwag natin palalampasin ang opportunity maka-fellowship ang Panginoon sa sandalik nito. Sabi dito ng Panginoong Isabristo sa Matthew chapter 26, verse 26, And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take it, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink ye all of it. So the red grape wine symbolizes the precious blood of Jesus Christ made real by the Holy Spirit in our salvation, making us a child of God. Sabi niya dito sa verse 28, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Yung sa Old Testament, tops, cubs, goats, etc. Dito, the blood of Jesus Christ sa New Testament. Verse 29, When I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine, the source where we get the grape and the wine, until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. You and I, at in relation to uh, John chapter 15, you and I, as we enjoy our fellowship with the Lord Jesus, we warm and treasure Him in our lives, and we participate in the uh, Lord's Supper, I, the more precious ang new wine doon sa Lord's table in the next life. In the marriage supper of the Lamb. Everything will become new. This old world is going to end up be burnt and it will be renovated by the Lord and there is going to be a new heavens and a new earth na wala ng bakas ng anumang sumpa o kasalanan o kahinaan. Are you saved? Truly saved? is because of what Christ has done for us. Naunawa na ba ninyo ang mensaheng ito ng Panginoon? Put new wine in new garments. Hindi ito uubra sa mga taong corrupt at makasalanan. Ililigtas ng Panginoon and then that newness will shine forth. Shine, Jesus, shine. Let's close in prayer. Our Father, we thank you for this hard saying that you made, which is made easier to us by your own teaching to us of what the elements symbolizes. The container, the content, as well as the conservation of it. Thank you for preserving everything that you have begun in our lives. Thank you for preserving the Word of God through the ages. Thank you for preserving your church when you promise I will be with you always, even unto the end or the close of the dispensation. Thank you for preserving our families. Thank you for preserving our health. Thank you for being in charge of preserving our children. And thank you for preserving our world temporarily because as the salt of the earth, you have not yet withdrawn us and your spirit. Because if you are not in control, everything will self-destroy. 
While our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed, no one looking around, just, just between you, God, and myself. Lord, I, I am a child of God. But speaking of newness, speaking of putting premium between the physical or temporal and the earthly over the eternal, the spiritual, and the scriptural, I do pray that you would help us to put more importance on things that are lasting. That we would, commencing today, seek first the kingdom and all these things shall be added unto us. As we leave this place bound for our respective homes, I do pray that you would keep us safe on the road and wrap us up with your preserving hands that no illness, even this dreaded COVID, would infect us. You are the greatest and the best physician of all time that you do care for our body, our soul, and our spirit and that you have preserved us this side of heaven and you will make us a brand new person, body, soul, and spirit when you come again, which we yearn for and hunger for. Even so come, Lord Jesus. I pray for our brethren who may be with us online. The same question is posed upon them, that they would put, more importance on things which are eternal rather than those things which are temporal. They are meant for our use in this life, but we are not to be dragged down nor drawn away by these blessings from the blesser. You are our best and greatest blesser of all time. And Lord, Prepare us should you want us to have the Lord's Supper next Lord's Day knowing what this teaching on new wine and new battles is all about. We bless you in Jesus' name. Before I close in prayer, when we are confronted this side of heaven, uh, you may look at... Uh, uh, me please for a while before we live and go. Whenever we are confronted with either a principle or a practice or a system or a doctrine or a teaching or a method, always test them on this basis. Test subukan ninyo ito on this basis. The question is, is, is it old? Okay. And we used to pride ourselves along this line. Is it new? And I heard uh, our preacher, and I do partly believe, if it is true, it is not new. If it is new, it's not true. On the context of this, that we, got, we are confronted with the different ideas and ideologies, the question we must ask is not, is it old? Because it may be old and yet be wrong. Is it new? It may be new and still be wrong. But the question that we must ask ourselves before we ever commit is, is it true? Is it the truth? The truth must Come out first. It must be our choice. Because when it is truth, it's the right choice or decision ever. Because Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the word of God is truth. It will sanctify our lives. God bless you and be with you as you leave this place. And keep you safe 
and keep on showering your blessings the side of heaven until we meet uh, again next Lord's Day, the Lord willing, or until the Lord comes with a shout, come up! And that there will be all brand new. Not brand use. <laughs> and the people of God said, Amen. God bless you all. And uh, have a wonderful day with the Lord. Three things lang, di ba simple lang? The container, the content, and the consummation. <laughs>